Hey everyone, welcome back to Rebel Femme TV. My name's Morella, and I'm the salon owner of Rebel Femme Salon in Mission Viejo, California. And if you have been following along this last year, I wanna thank you so much for your continued support. And in this last year, we've actually grown from a team of four to eight. So it's time to now introduce you to some of our new team members. So stay tuned and check it out. My name is Caitlin. My name is Tina. Yadira Munoz. Angie. My name is Ashley. It's Juliet Colors. Tiara, otherwise known as Beauty by Tiara. My favorite service to do would be haircuts. I love doing haircuts. Rainbow colors. Braids. Color. Updos. Fun colors. Extensions because it's such a huge transformation, uh, but I also love doing color. Color is super fun. The massage part because it relaxes them so much. I like to see that they're relaxed. My favorite product I can't live without is the Moroccan oil treatment oil. Really heavy leave-in conditioner. I like Color Wow, the curl spray. That's really good. Detangler slash prep spray. It's a Shimmer Me Blonde by Kevin Murphy. It's Moroccan oil. Any type of acrylic because you can do anything with acrylic. Oh, I know. <laughs> Texturizing Taffy by Kenra. The one tool I cannot live without is my curling iron. Flat iron. A Dyson blow dryer. Dyson. A Dyson blow dryer. <laughs> blow dryer um, nozzle. <laughs> Would be my electric file. A diffuser. I want my curls to be big. The one person in this room that I would let punch me in my face would be Tina. <laughs> I would let Angie punch me in the face because she would punch me like this. I'm gonna have to go with Angie for punching me in the face. <laughs> She's like so nice and gentle. I would let nobody punch me in the face. That's rude. Why would I let somebody punch me in the face? I would let Yadira only punch me in the face. Not Yadira, because she would have so much fun with that. It wouldn't be Ashley. That would hurt. <laughs> or Tina. Probably Ashley, because I don't think she'll punch me that hard, maybe. Could be wrong. She's feisty. I think I'd let Angie hit me in the face. <laughs> She'd be gentle. <laughs> I'd have to say Kasima. <laughs> 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 How old was I when I learned Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny didn't know each other? I didn't even know that they knew each other. Are they friends? I never believed in the Easter Bunny because I was Catholic. What do you mean they don't know each other? I always thought they knew each other. I'm Mexican. <laughs> there was no Santa and Easter Bunny. <laughs> uh, but Santa Claus, I definitely believed in Santa Claus. I was actually in kindergarten when a couple of boys told me that Santa Claus and Barney weren't real. And it was really sad. I loved Barney. <laughs> My favorite flavor of Skittle would have to be the red. It's the tropical ones, because I don't really like the normal ones. Skittles is my favorite candy and I don't really have a favorite flavor because I usually take a handful of Skittles and shove them in my mouth. Red ones. The orange ones, because they taste like the orange Tic Tacs. I don't know, I'm not really a candy person, to be honest. I'm more of a chips and salsa kind of girl, but I guess I would have to go with the classic red. The blue ones. The blue ones, is that a color? If not, the purple ones, those are really good too. I guess the tropical bag, it's pretty fruity. If I could be a Disney princess, it would be Alice from Alice in Wonderland. I guess Snow White is my Disney princess because she cleans all the time and I like cleaning. If only I had like seven little men to help me. Merida, because nobody knows who she is and she was a total badass. She would like ride around with like a bow and arrow. She didn't want a man, didn't need a man. I would be Belle from Beauty and the Beast because she has brown hair and she reads books. I don't do princess things very well, so I think I'd rather be a king. Ariel, so I could swim in the ocean with the little animals and have pretty long, glorious hair. The Little Mermaid, because she is literally my spirit animal. Probably Ariel, because I love the water and the ocean, and it'd be cool to be a mermaid. The Spice Girl that best describes me would probably be Scary Spice, 
Maybe Sporty Spice. Maybe Posh Spice? She was always my favorite. I am 100% Ginger Spice. A thousand percent. I got the, the spice and the red hair. Scary Spice. Posh Spice. Baby Spice. Probably Baby Spice. Not 100% sure. I'm just gonna go with that. I was a new addition to a crayon box. I would be gold, because it's nice and shiny. I would be a sparkle crayon. I'm gonna go with like sunshine yellow. Iridescent rainbow color. Lilac, because that's my favorite color. <laughs> I like purple, so purplish, like a glimmery purple, I guess, maybe? Spicy red. When I'm driving, I get a very upset. And I just picture myself driving a red crayon. Meowrilla blush because I like everything blush. Funny things happen to me every day, so they kind of all just blur together, but Tina shot me with a Nerf gun this morning. It's really embarrassing, but the last thing that's happened to me recently that was pretty funny was George was playing online with his friends, video games, and had his mic on so they could hear what he was saying, vice versa, and I didn't realize this, and was laying down in the bed next to him and let one rip real loud. And they all heard it. <laughs> to the point where George had to mute the conversation because we were dying laughing. <laughs> yep, that was the last funniest thing that happened to me. <laughs> so this has been ongoing and it will always be recent. Um, Caitlin with the vegan ice. And I was like, Sonic has vegan ice? and then Yadira with the jackalope. So jackalopes are not real, they're fake. Someone just photoshopped antlers on them. You can come in and ask them about it in details. Ooh, if I could have a song play every time I walked into a room. You know that, like, you're the best around. Nothing's gonna ever bring you down. I don't know the name of it, but that song. <laughs> Kenny Kill. Double Dare, yeah. Selena, Bidi Bidi Bum Bum. Sirens of the Sea by Ocean Lab. Sunday Morning by No Doubt. Stevie Wonders, you are the sunshine of my life. Bidi Bidi Bum Bum. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like I feel bad about myself, but I don't, but I love manatees. And if I could compare myself to any animal, it would be a manatee. Because they're so cute and they're so sweet and they're chubby and they've got cute little faces, just like me. A rabbit because they are soft and cuddly, but they're ferocious little things. Be a tiger. Rawr! <laughs> <laughs> Chihuahua, because I'm very little, but very ferocious at the same time. Cat, because I love to cuddle and I love to eat. I have to be a monkey, because I'm freaking all over the place all the time. <laughs> It would definitely be a llama because they're really fluffy, they love eating, they like laying down, taking naps, and they run around just for a little bit. And that's how my life is like. I definitely think, ideally, I should be compared to a cat because I am very independent and I have a feisty personality, but I can be nice too at the same time. The secret talent I can think of is singing. I don't sing very much anymore, but that's my favorite thing to do. Black coffee, since the blues caught my eye. Yeah. <laughs> my secret talent is salsa dancing. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Do I do a movement? <laughs> my hidden talent is I can wiggle both ears or each one independently on command. Oh, and I can do a reverse nostril flare. I could probably do it while I wiggle my ears. Hold on. No, I can't. <laughs> I can do this. Um, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> That's my hidden talent. I'm double jointed. Or here, how about this one? But like, look at my hands, how they're flat though. 
Like, see, my hands are flat. My sister can do this too, and like my mom can do it on one of her arms, so I feel like it's like a pass down generation thing. We're <laughs> gonna make my hidden talent feel <laughs> real special. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed getting to know our team a little bit better. And to find out more about us, check us out on rebelfemsalon.com.